Space Dragon and Kim. Oh, hey, frog faces. I'm Space Dragon. And I'm Kim. And today we're talking about... The Science of Fear. Yeah. Peep this, lizard face. O-M-G. So this is Papaya, and she is a Goliath bird eater tarantula. <laughs> That's terrifying, Kim. I know, I know. She's a little terrifying, okay? But she's actually perfectly harmless to humans. <sighs> but that feeling you're getting, that fear, okay? It's yeah. totally normal. And in fact, uh. sometimes it's even good for you. Fear is good for you? Yeah. How can something that feels so terrible be a good thing? Ooh, good question. So you have to think back, okay, to our early ancestors, okay? Now, a lot of them lived around really venomous spiders. So those that were not afraid of those spiders likely got bit more and probably died. Oh, good kitty. Ah! Now, those that were afraid of spiders, okay, actually kept their distance and probably lived longer lives. And then they had children, passed that fear onto their children, eventually passing that fear from your parent onto you. Oh, that makes sense. That's probably why I'm afraid of heights. The fear actually protects me from falling off things. Fear helps us survive. Ding, 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 ding. Ah. If I had more thumbs, I'd give you more thumbs up. That's okay. right. Yeah. He's got more thumbs. Yeah, well, kind of. Eight of them. Well, those are legs. Now, here's an interesting thing to think about, okay? Spiders are actually scared of things. That's right. Scary things are scared of things. Now, take for example, okay, you see, you see your butt? Yeah. You see your butt? She's got all these like hairs on her butt. I see them, yeah. Yeah, okay, so here's what happens when a tarantula gets a little scared. She will actually use her back legs to fling those hairs at her enemies, right? Okay, so what's happening here is those hairs can actually be a real irritant to the skin of some creatures, and so she's just protecting herself when she gets freaked. Gotcha. Now let's look at another spider. Okay, so this is Bouncy, the regal jumping spider. Oh, he's just a cute little guy. Well, he's cute to us, but to his prey, he's pretty freaky. You see, these hairy little guys, they don't make webs like normal spiders. No, no, this particular spider leaps on its prey. Just jumps right on it. So you're saying they don't spin webs to catch their food? Yeah. But what was that little web thing that he made right before he jumped? Well, these spiders can still make webs and they use it to make their homes, or sometimes they just use it kind of as a safety line when they're jumping. Oh, like yeah. a little spider bungee cord. Yeah, exactly. Because, <laughs> you know, safety comes first. Yeah, if you look really close, it kind of looks like it has a smiley face on its behind. It does kind of look like he has a smiley face on his behind. Mm. So actually, these particular spiders have really good eyesight and they're really good dancers. <laughs> the male spiders will actually wiggle their legs, okay? And that's a way of attracting their mate. Okay. Yeah. Just throw those hands in the air. Yes. And if you're scared, just fling your butt hairs. Fling your butt hairs. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Thanks. Do you want to see another spider? Yeah, buddy. Okay. This is a cave spider. Ooh. Yeah, pretty cool, Yeah, eh? Yeah, why are those two legs so long? Oh, well, that is so this particular spider can kind of feel around in a dark cave. Oh, weird. Yeah. I would have just used the flashlight on my phone. Yeah. I, I know this thing's a spider, yeah. but it kind of reminds me of a scorpion. Well, that is actually a good point. So spiders and scorpions are actually relatives. They're both arachnids. Mm. So arachnids, okay, are not the same as insects. Arachnids always have eight legs and insects always have six legs. Mm. So this particular spider has eight legs. Scorpions have eight legs. Even dust mites have eight legs. Huh. I know. It says here that those pincers uh -huh. are actually called pedipalps. Oh, yeah. And they use them to hold on to their food while they eat it. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing me all these cuties with big booties. Hey, no problem. And you know, next time you get scared, have a think about why you might be scared. Is there some kind of survival reason why your brain wants you to stay away from that thing? And think about how being scared can even be fun sometimes. Like when you go on a roller coaster, or you watch a freaky movie, or even when you build up the courage to make a new friend. I never ah! made a friendship. <laughs> scared me. Warn me next time. I almost flung my butt hairs at you. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs>